Hey there, Andrew Pleasance here, yacht broker with United City Yachts, Canada's Yacht Sales Network, and I'm here today at Friday Harbor Resorts, and we're going to take a look at this 2013 Regal 35 Sport Coupe. Let's go take a look. Stepping on to the extended swim platform, the center position reboarding ladder. You do have a convertible sun pad here. The backrest does fold forward, allowing you to utilize either the sun pad configuration or a dinette. The dinette table mounts in two positions. One which allows an unobstructed passway here forward. This bench here is also convertible, allowing you to use that side as well for the dinette here. There is also a cooler with a designated space and lock in into that position as well. To starboard, we do have the stainless steel refrigerator. We've got a stone countertop with a Canyon electric grill and a sink, as well as access to the trash receptacle. You also do have a flip down television that folds out of the hard top. Really cool feature on this boat is the hard top it is a convertible hard top. So at the push of a button, if the sun gets to be too much, you can go ahead and close that. On port side, we've got a nice rear-facing lounger. Another table does connect there as well if you'd like to add some additional dining space. At the helm station, there is a good-sized helm seat with flip-up bolster, as well as a wooden step bolo. Great for improving the sight lines, lots of headroom to stand up. We do have the joystick drive operation here. Powering this 35 Regal Sport Coupe are a pair of Mercruiser 350 Mag 300 horse gas engines. As well as an integral Kohler generator. Chronotic power inverter. Providing plenty of power while on the water. Up on the foredeck, you have a nice set of handles drink rests, which are stainless steel on both sides, as well as some nice big skylights, and a hatch that opens up in the front. You have windless foot controls there, as well as some fender carriers, which are attached to the bow rail. Moving down below. Great amount of seating here on board the 35 Sport Coupe. Well equipped galley. Again, got another stainless steel sink here. You've got another Kenyan electric cooktop. You've got a stainless microwave. Plenty of storage space. Good stone counters. Good size refrigerator here with a little ice box. 
you have a fusion stereo throughout with a number of different control locations, one being the forward berth here, as you see, the other being the helm station, and lastly on the transom. The forward berth does have a hanging closet there. You've got an additional storage drawers there. You've got additional storage drawers here, as well as a convertible bench seat here. So at the press of a button, this bench seat right here, with the removal of a couple of cushions, will change into moving this cushion and this cushion. We're able to actually extend that. The entire floor piece moves forward. And then what was the backrest for that rear facing bench forms the bottom portion of that queen size mattress there. Which is pretty great. The, the same thing happens here on the starboard side settee across the galley. There is a position here for a dining table when this is not extended, this being the forward berth. Um, this also does pull out. The settee does pull out and allow you to have an additional berth there if needed. Alternatively, you do have the mid berth as well, which is separated by a privacy curtain. Right now it's set up as two bench seats that face inside. There is a filler cushion that goes in the center and turns that into a double berth. There is a lit hanging closet back there as well as a good full size mirror and lighting, natural port light air ventilation as well as central air conditioning and heating throughout. This vessel also does have the optional central vacuum. And I should also point out a very good size flat screen TV as well. It's visible from all the seating locations down below as well as the fourth berth. In the head, you do have a good amount of counter space here, as well as some storage below. These mirrors do open, so you do have the option of storing a quite a good amount of things inside there. We have another porthole that opens, allowing uh, for natural airflow, ventilation, lighting. This is a wet head, so you do have the integral shower and drain in the floor. Your water controls as well as ventilation are there as well. If you'd like some more information on this vessel or any other vessel found on our website at unitedcityyachts.com, please do reach out. Um, I can be contacted directly at 705-718-2483 or by email andrew at unitedcityyachts.com.